This lesson will show how to use Desmos to determine a sample size needed for a proportion confidence interval. A political candidate has asked you to collect a poll to determine what percentages of people support her. If the candidate only wants a 3% margin of error at a 95% confidence level, what size of sample is needed? First, the margin of error is 3% and therefore E is 0 0.03. Next, we need to find the z-score for the 95% confidence level indicated by z sub alpha divided by two, where alpha divided by two is the area to the right of the z-score, which we can see from the graph on the far right as a decimal is 0 0.025. To use decimals to find the z-score though, we need the area to the left, which is 0 0.975. Let's go to decimals and find the z-score. With the cursor in cell one, click show keypad, click functions, click normal dist for normal distribution, enter a mean of zero comma, standard deviation of one, close parenthesis, either decimal point or period, click functions, click inverse CDF, enter the area to the left, which is 0 0.975, and the z-score shows below, which is approximately 1.96 for the 95% confidence interval. Notice how we are not given the sample proportion P prime or Q prime. Assuming we know nothing about who supports or does not support the candidate, we assume 50% support the candidate and 50% don't support the candidate, and therefore P prime and Q prime are both 0.5. Sometimes you may be given information about P prime, but if not, we assume it's 0 0.5 or 50%. And now we'll use Desmos and enter the formula here on the bottom to determine the sample size n. We will use the second formula where instead of Q prime, we use one minus P prime. Notice n is equal to the product of z squared p prime and the quantity one minus p prime divided by e squared. Going back to Desmos, click in cell two, enter n equals open parenthesis z raised to the second power times p times open parenthesis one minus p close parenthesis, close parenthesis divided by e squared. Notice below we have an option to add sliders for z, p, and e, click all. And now we enter the values of z, the z-score, p, the sample proportion, and e, the error. We enter z equals 1.96, enter p equals 0 0.5, enter e, which is 0 0.03. Let's close the Desmos keypad, scroll up, and we can see n, we always round n up and not down, if we round it down to 1067, the sample size would not be large enough, and therefore we round up to 1068. Now we know the sample size needed is 1068 people, in order to have a margin of error of 3% at a 95% confidence level. I hope you found this helpful.